Hello everyone. Um, this is the uh, a monthly subscription box. Of course, as you can see, it's called Creative Art Box. And this particular one is the Super Awesome Box. Okay, there's just the Creative Art Box and then there's the Super Awesome Box. This happens to be the Super Awesome Box. Now, this one is for October. Now, I don't have anything done from September, which was the sculpting, sculpting thing. I never got around to it. I never got around to it, and um, I didn't, I wanted to make sure I could do the project, I didn't want to mess it up, so I, I, I'm, I because I don't sculpt that much, I was afraid that if I start, because it's one of that, that type of uh, clay that's air dry, and I didn't want to take it out, and then pr start something, and then, you know, the, the clay dry out on me, or whatever, but anyway, I will do something with it, and I will, um, I will show it to you once I have got it done. I'll write on the box, you know, like uh, September's um, uh, creative art box so that um, I'll know what month it was for, supposed to be for. But anyway, so this is the October creative art box. So it's Inktober. And now I did break the seals because there was seals here and there's a seal here. And, um, but I have not looked inside. So let us look inside. Paper, paper on the outside, inside here. There we go. Looks like a lot of goodies in there, but let me get the um, the stuff at the bottom. The 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 um the little instruction thing here. I think this is it. Is it this it? Nope, that's not it. Oh, here it is. This is it. Okay, we'll put these back in. We start looking at them. Now, this one says, what does it say here? Um, okay, it's the uh, Inktober Super Awesome Box, and it says, Happy Inktober. Now, I got this, uh, now I, this, I'm still in September, but I won't post this until October, okay? So, um, but anyway, I got this, uh, today is the 29th of October, uh, September, so I got this today. Um, but anyway, so, uh, it says, Happy Inktober. Use your letter stamps with your mini stamp. Uh, mini stamp pad to add a fun touch to art pieces and cards. So, this I presume are the uh, ink ink stamps, or the uh, let's see, uh, do, 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 do. yeah, letter stamps. I should say letter stamps, not ink stamps. And let me see. It says, oh, here it is. This one set of alphabet stamps, and that these uh, range. Th these are dollar ninety nine, and of course, as you can see, it has all the alphabet. Cool. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll think of something. Maybe Happy Halloween or something. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Okay, that's that. This is, this is kind of cool. And then we've got, oh, it said the ink. The ink. Where would be the ink? Let me see here. It said mini ink pad. Mini ink pad. Where is it? Where is, oh, okay. I guess this is the mini ink pad. Yeah, that's a mini ink pad, all right. That's a tiny little ink pad. Let me see, it's by Turquoise, huh? Huh, I guess maybe, well it says Turquoise. So I'm wondering if the color of it is Turquoise. I guess there's, I hate to, I hate to open this thing up yet. But I probably should, make sure. I, I should have enough, let me see here. There's one way to find out. Uh, well, nutmeg. See, I try not to cuss on my on my channel. So when you hear me say some things like frick or frack or frippin' or nutmeg, that for me is a cuss word. So <laughs> I ju I just don't I just try not to use any profanity on my channel. I, I'd rather not. I mean, I know some channels do, but I try not to. Um, so far, I've been doing pretty good at it. I know this has got to open up somehow. Doggone it. It doesn't want to open up. Ah, there we are. I got it. I got it. Yay! I got it. There we go. I like this little mini e pad. It's kind of cute. It's so cute. Oh yeah, see it's turquoise. It's a it's a turquoise color. I just put my finger on it, so let me put that back on there. 
so that it doesn't get dry out. Okay, and here's the little stamps. I don't want to dirty up the. I don't want to. I don't want to dirty up the stamps. They're so cute. Can you imagine back in the day when they, you know, when newspapers or you know, uh, uh, books and everything were first, in you know, um, the printing press was first invented, where they had to stick all these little letters individually, you know, in the in their slots. And then they had to pull that thing back and, you know, press and, oh, man, can you imagine? Can you imagine? I mean, I always thought that would be, that is so cool the way they came up with the printing press. But then I'm, I'm a nerd when it comes to history. I love history. I love everything about history. Your history hasn't been, you know, all that great. But, you know, it's just the way history goes, you know. It's just... History is usually not filled with nice people. Well, there is nice people, but it's not like, you know, the ones that conquer are not nice people. <laughs> oh, and these alphabet things are uh, $1.99. Let me see here. Let's go to my, the back of my book here. And we will take one of these little lovely little stamp things, and I will dirty it up. I hate to, but... Yeah, come on, come out. There we go. Oh, they're really wedged in there good. I need to just get it all. Oh, okay, I see. See, they're they're really wedged in there good. I hate to dirty it up, because look how clean they are. <laughs> they're so clean. Oh, come on. I don't want to. There we go. They're so clean. I don't want to dirty them up. Okay, and I'll stick this in the little stamper here. I thought I'd just go for the A. Okay, here we go. I don't know how good this is going to be. There we go. That's a nice little neat A. Just got to remember not to press so hard so I don't get the edge. Okay, there we go. Put it back in its little container. Close up the ink pad. I like that color, though. I like turquoise. Okay, and next one here, it says, this, uh, one Sakura souffle, 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 um, neon pin. Is this it? Let's see. What does it say here? Nope, that's not it. Hold on. Let me see. Oh, here, I think this is it. Yep, this is it. This is the this is the neon pin. That's the, the tip on it. Oh, you don't have to shake it, so let me see here. It's neon. Let's see, I guess you have to push press it. Well, how do you hold on a minute? I don't know how you get it to work. Oh, oh I see. There was a thing on top of it. There was a protective thing you bobber on top of it. Now try it. Oh, there we go. There we go. It's a pretty color. There we go. That's a nice. That's a nice little color. And then we have the um the uh, Koei Noor. They got one Koei Noor. Transmix Media Brilliant Ink. Oh, okay, here it is. And that would be this little baby, bad boy. Let me see here. Let's see if open it up. I love work. I, I'm finding that I'm really loving working with ink. I have not worked with ink since college. I remember my first ink thing, it was, I had to do a wash, and it was of a rubber tree plant. And every time I think about that rubber tree plant, I always think about the little ant going up the rubber tree plant. Okay, I don't really want, well, there's ink in there. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but there's, there's there is ink there, and I don't want to 
I don't know if it's black ink or not. Let me see. What does it say the color on it? Oh, it's cobalt blue. It is cobalt, cobalt, coal, coal, cobalt. <laughs> Cobalt blue. Why am I having such trouble? Oh, there it is. See, it got on my fingers. It was, um, where's my paper towel here? It's got, ew. Yeah, I made a mess. I made a mess, a little bit of, oops, the lid's coming off. There we go. I made a little bit of a mess. But there's the color. Oh, it's a dark blue, too. So I made a little bit of a mess. I didn't mean to, though. Maybe I shouldn't have opened it. There we go. I got ink on my fingers. I can see this is going to be messy. <laughs> okay, that's the ink. So I don't need to do a test on the ink because you saw what color it was. Um, let me see here. Um, the next we have a uh, one Derwent Graf Graphics H2O brush. This would be this little bad boy. Let me see. I guess you have to turn this here. Yeah, okay, wait a minute. Okay, turn that. And I guess you got to take this thing off. Hold on. Ah, oh, there we are. There's the, the brush. And I really don't want to... Oh, okay, it's just... Okay, it's just... that's. This is just the top of it. Because I thought this thing was, like, separate, but it's not. Oh, that's hard. That's a hard tip. Well, I guess once it's wet, it'll be softer. But right now, it's a hard tip. I guess you, okay, yeah, there, there you go, there you put the ink in there, or water. I really, you know what, it's funny, I really don't want to put any ink in here. <laughs> I don't want to put any ink in here because I, I'm so in love with water brushes, I would rather it be a water brush, but it's, it, you have to put the ink in there. I wonder if I should put this cobalt ink in there. Okay, and we've got, oh, and the, um, uh, the Brilliant Ink, this stuff, retails for eight dollars and no six. Wait a minute, hold on. Six dollars and five cents. And then this retails for oh my goodness, seven dollars and ninety nine cents. Wow. I mean, for the for the for the amount of money you that's paid each month for these boxes, because I did look it up. Um, though my husband's been getting them for me, um, I have been looking, I did look it up, and for the, for the amount of money that you actually pay for this, these boxes, you get a lot, you know what I mean, um, so it's well worth it. Okay, and the next thing we have is a, oh, three scratch boards, one white sparkle, bl uh, black sparkle, and a clear. Oh, that must be these on the bottom. Okay, one white sparkle. Okay. Okay, here we are. So we've got, well, actually, what's this thing? Does it go on top of something? This is real thin, so I don't know. And then, yeah, it's three scratch boards. Uh, a white sparkle, black sparkle, and a clear. Hmm. Well, this one's a black sparkle. A uh, black sparkle, I presume. I don't know what I don't know what this one's for. Well, I guess I guess it's a scratch board too. Cause here's the here's the white one and a black one. Cause you, uh, yeah, you can see this. I don't know when the light hits it just right. You can see the sparkle on it on both of these. You can actually see the sparkle when it hits the light just right. And then I guess this one, okay, this one here I suppose is the clear, even though it's not clear, but it's real thin, because there's no, yeah, there's nothing else in there, so I guess this is the, the clear one. And these retail for um, $1.50. Now, it does not say $1.50 each, it just says $1.50. And then it says one metal scratch pin. Here we are. This is a scratch pin. Now, I've never done anything like this. I've never done the scratch things. I've seen it on YouTube and stuff where people have, you know, taken this and scratched. I don't want to scratch it yet because I want to do design. That's why I'm not, I'm not touching it or anything because I really don't want to mess it. You know, I don't want to do a test because I don't want to mess it up. 
you know what I mean? So I'll show you, you know, when the next, if the next creative, uh, creative art box comes, because I don't know, because this is like, you don't, it's not a um, creative art box. You pay each month. So I never know I'm going to get one of these. You know what I'm saying? It's not like an automatic. It doesn't, they don't automatically send it to you. You have to actually order it each, each month. So, and that's good because if you can't afford the box, you know, you get it like one month, one month. So I never know I'm going to get this until it comes. So that it's, it's one of those boxes. It's not like sketch box or scrawler box where you, you know, you sign up and then they send you a box every month and take it out of your card or whatever, you know. So, so in, in other words, if you don't, if you can't afford it, then see, I don't know if you can, I don't know if you can see that, but every so often the light hits it just right and it's, and the, and the surface sparkles. Okay, so I, and I don't really know how to use it, although there's some, I guess it is clear because, see, you can see right through it right there. So actually this one is the clear one. And it is actually, I think, it, I, don't, I don't know if it sparkles or not. I don't think it does. Anyway, okay, and then we have one metal scratch tip pin and then one Winsor Newton watercolor postcard. That would be this little bad boy. It's a, it's a postcard. So I'll probably do my art piece on this thing. What yet, I do not know. Maybe something to my friend Lily because she's my best friend in the world and, and um, well, one of my best friends. And um, I, I like to do something for her. So I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but I'll think of something. And then we have a, okay, and then in this box, since this is a super awesome box, the two extra things that are in it is a one Martha Stewart fine tip glue pen. That would be this. And I'm not going to open it yet because I haven't glued anything with it yet. So I'll, I'll wait till I, you know, I open it up. But that's what this one is. And then the next thing is one Martha Stewart fine glitter tube. Oh, and this oh, and this thing retails for a dollar fifty, and the watercolor postcard is fifty seven cents, and the scratch pin is a dollar ninety nine. Okay, and then the, and then here's the uh, glitter tube tube of glitter. So I've never had any Martha Stewart stuff. <laughs> and then let's see, the, and the glitter tube uh, retails for three fifty. And that's pretty much all there is, except for the little creative art sticker, which says, I love Inktober on it. And that is the, um, the box for, um, for uh, October, or Inktober, as they keep saying, or they, they say. And um, I, will, I will try to come up with something for um, Inktober. I'm not sure what yet this thing doesn't want to stay on. The, um, oh, there we go. Um, not really sure what I want to do yet for Inktober. I haven't decided. And since I've never used a scratch, scratch uh, thing before, that's going to be, that's going to be interesting. But I want to do some sort of a design on them. And then let's see what it says here. Um, let me read this to you. Um, do, 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 do. It says here, your, um, your neon souffle, I guess that's souffle, uh, pin is great on dark surfaces or over ink once it is dry. Um, fill your Derwent H2O brush with your Koinor ink. You can use this on paper, wood, metal, plastic, glass, and ceramic. If you get more than one, you can mix colors to create new ones. If you have September's box, you can use this on your clay. Um, this is waterproof, but on glass and ceramic, you will want to use an overcoat. Make sure to clean your brush, brush tip after use. Your H2O, H2O brush works very well with graphics line, uh, line painters, as well, um, as well if you receive, oh, um, let me see, what does it say? As well, if you receive the September box, use water in the tube instead of ink. Um, you have received a white board with glitter background, with a glitter background, a black board with a glitter background, and a black board with a clear background. Use your scratch pen to make a design in the boards. You can scratch out lines on a, lar 
or a large area. Try to use the side of the pin rather than the, than the tip to make sure you don't pierce the paper. If you, uh, you can use other markers and paint to color on top of the scratch paper. Hey, <laughs> you're super awesome. Oh, say, hey, you're super awesome. So you have received a Martha Stewart glue pen and fine glitter. Use the glue pen to create a uh, design uh, to sprinkle the glitter on. You can uh, also sprinkle the glitter on the stamped letters right after you have, after they are placed. Use the glitter over a sheet of paper so that you can shake the glitter back into the tube. Okay, well that's true. Um, and then, and that's it. That's all it says on there. So anyway, that is the creative art box for um, for September for October. And um, I am looking forward to using the scratch boards. Hopefully, at this time, I will come up with something. And like I said, um, when I have um, did something for the September box, I will, I will, um, I will show everybody. Well, I'll show all of you. I want to thank all my subscribers for subscribing. And um, that, yeah, I cannot tell you what that means to me because I thought, eh, who cares? But I, I'm doing it because I figure if somebody out there likes art and maybe would like an art subscription box, you know, because it's fun to get. And um, there's art supplies, that, especially with creative art box. There's supplies that you've never, maybe never tried before, like glitter. The only thing, I've never really used glitter for anything. I never, to me, glitter was always for children, you know, for little kids. Because, you know, they always put glitter on stuff. So, I mean, this, is, this will be something different. Um... And like I said, I've never did, used a scratch board before, so that's going to be interesting. And uh, but you know, that's that's one reason why I'm doing the videos because you know I've I figure maybe there's someone out there who has the same likes that I do, who likes Barbies, who likes art, who likes creating art, who likes drawing, um, who likes cats. Um, who doesn't like cats? Even this, there's dog lovers out there that likes cats. They prefer the dogs, but I mean, I love cats. I like dogs, but I just prefer cats to dogs. I don't know, maybe because dogs aren't, they need more attention, I guess, than cats do. And to a certain st extent, cats can be pretty needy at, at times. Like my drooler, toward the end of his life, he got really needy, um, especially after uh, my cat Sweetie Pie died. They were like, you know, two peas in a pod. They were bedmates, you might say. They'd always sleeping together, and they were always cuddling together, so... And after Sweetie Pie passed away, um, Drooler was never the same. After that, he seemed to be get really, really needy. And especially toward the end of his life, he was really needy. I mean, he constantly wanted attention, constantly. So, and I, and I really don't blame him. I mean, I loved him to pieces, and I, I miss him. I mean, he passed, I think, as if you've seen my previous videos, you know he passed away in January. And I still miss him. Thanksgiving and Christmas is going to be a little rough because he always begged for turkey, always begged for ham, and I'd always give him a little bit of a treat. A whipped cream, whip, you know, the ready whipped cream, that was his favorite. He never said no to whipped cream, and he always knew when I had it, like say I always put it on like, I always make myself a cranberry parfait, and he knew, I mean, he could be sleeping, and he knew when I'd start to squirt the, 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 um, uh, whipped cream out. He was right there on the floor, you know, looking at me like, please, can I have some? Sometimes he'd meow. But for the most part, he'd give me those, you know, those, please, those, um, puss in boots eyes. <laughs> and anybody who's seen Shrek knows what I'm talking about, those puss in boots eyes. But, um, yeah, so I, I miss him and, um, and, you know, like books. I've got some, um, books that I wanted to share with everybody. Um, they're older books and they're romances. Now, not everybody, not, 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 Everybody is cup of tea is romances, but I like science fiction. I like romance. I like historical romance. I like modern romance, um, especially like uh, Diana Ga Diana Gabaldon's Outlander series. Oh, I love that. I mean, how many of you out there like Outlander the series? I've got all of her books. I have not seen. I've only seen season one, volume one of the DVDs. That's the only one I've seen so far. And they did pretty good at following along with the book. So I, I have to give them kudos for that because they did pretty good. And, and, um, I liked Jamie, you know, and I like Claire in the, in the, 
in the I, although I really would have loved to have Gerard Butler as Jamie. I don't know why, but I mean I love Gerard Butler. I love doing Phantom of the Opera. And you know the funny thing about Phantom of the Opera is when I first saw it, I'm like, why would you make a musical out of Phantom of the Opera? It's a horror story. Why would you but actually it's a gothic romance. It actually is a gothic romance. And I have to say I, I did not like Christine, you know, going to Raoul. I was, you know, the Phantom loved her. I mean, you know, but anyway, I, but I loved um, Gerard, 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 Gerard Butler's uh, betrayal of, um, um, yeah, yeah, I'm right here. Hello. <laughs> it's looking for me. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm right here. See, it's looking for me. I'm right here. Hello. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's got one of those security things on it, like, and if it, it'll go, it'll go down and, light and start looking for me. I really don't like that because you know it's, um, it's, uh, you know it's, it's, it's a camera, and I really, uh, I don't, I don't know. I have a thing about cameras, and am I out there? Unless I want to put myself out there on the internet, I'm like, I don't want my face to be out. You know, I don't want what I'm doing in my le leisure time to be out on the internet because it's nobody's business but mine. <laughs> But anyway, yeah, so um, uh, I like Gerard Butler as Phantom. I mean, he was, he's was he got a beautiful singing voice. I wish he would do more musicals. Really, I really, really wish he would. Um, and I saw Phantom of the Opera on stage in New York City, and oh my gosh, that was just, that was such a treat. Um, we went to New York City in 2008, and we saw Phantom of the Opera, and I'm a big ballet lover, and we went, we went and we saw the, uh, the uh, what was it, um, Oh, it's a Russian ballet company. For the life of me, I cannot think of the name of the... I'll think about it when I'm not thinking about it. But anyway, we, we saw a major Russian ballet company. And, um... But when I saw, um... The, the Phantom of the Opera on stage, I, I tell you, I was crying, you know, at the end, you know, at the very end of the movie. I was crying and weeping and, you know, like, oh my God, they can see me because I was so close to the stage. I mean, I was sitting here, the stage was right there. I mean, I was, I'm like, oh my God, these people can see me crying like a fool. <laughs> but, oh my gosh, it was such a, it was, it was even better seeing it in, in reality. And the man who did the Phantom, he was very good. And the woman who did Christine, she was also very good. But anyway, um, that will be it. I've rambled enough. I apologize. We stayed all the way to the end. <laughs> Bless you. Um, anyway, you all take care of yourselves and, um, I hope wherever you are in the world, you're having a wonderful day. As you can see from here, it's it's nighttime. It's always nighttime when I do these. Um, but um, wherever you are in the world, I hope you're having a wonderful day. You take care of yourselves. And until next time, God bless. Bye. Well. <laughs>